On to rugby now, and yesterday at Milne Town, it was round five of the Kings of the Sevens tournament, with Melrose looking to extend their lead at the top of the table. But holders Selkirk were out to make it two in a row, and Edinburgh Ackies were hoping to win the title for the first time in 85 years. Stuart Cameron was there. The Scott Cup is the prize for the winners of the Langham Sevens, and clubs have been competing to win the tournament since 1908. Melrose last won this trophy in 2002, and they knocked out Watsonians in the semi-final with the help of this try from Callum Anderson. So they faced Edinburgh Ackies, who beat Selkirk in their semi to contest the final once again, hoping to go one better than last year. It was a tight first half, with both teams scoring a try each. First up, Rory Bonner intercepting a Callum Anderson pass to go in unopposed. Then Tommy Wilson from Melrose making a break and going clean through the Aki's defence. After the break, Wilson ran in for a second score, but the killer blow was when Austin Lockington jinked in for the crucial third try. There was another try for each in this game, but Melrose ran out 28-12 winners and they lifted their third trophy in five outings. Player of the tournament, Tommy Wilson. Great tournament. I mean, the boys played well all throughout. Uh, in the tournament in the end, I think it was just a great shift, great effort, and it all came down to us wanting a bit more than Aki's, I think. Stuart Cameron, ITV News, Langham. Hey! Rugby Union now, and things are hotting up in the Kings of the Sevens tournament in the Scottish Borders. Stuart Cameron witnessed another pair of terrific displays from leaders Melrose. With four events to go on the circuit, Melrose are odds-on to retain their title after another superb display on both days. At Langham, they picked up their third win with a victory in the final against Edinburgh Ackies. Incredibly, the first time in 40 years that Melrose have won at Milntown. And with superb tries from Tommy Wilson and the exciting South African Austin Lockington, they cruised to a 28-12 win, with Wilson being voted player of the tournament. Great tournament. I mean, the boys played well all throughout. Uh, in the tournament in the end, I think it was just a great shift, great effort. And it all came down to us wanting a bit more than Ackies, I think. On to yesterday and playing an injury hit Hoik in the final at Peebles, they took control from the kickoff with Ross Oven sprinting in for the first try and showing exceptional pace for a forward. Inevitably, Austin Lockington would once again play his part in proceedings with this score, before Tommy Wilson touched down twice to give Melrose a commanding 24-0 lead at the break. Hoyt came back into it early in the second period with two tries, including this from Lee Armstrong. But any hopes of a comeback were dashed when Joe Helps ran in to put Melrose well and truly in the driving seat. Lewis Mallon enjoyed a couple of tries at the end, and despite a further Hoyt score, Melrose were never going to lose this, and they retained the Peebles trophy to go an incredible 25 points clear in the table. Player of the tournament yesterday, Austin Lockington. The boys are putting through a little razzle dazzle for the lads. I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, it's, it's good to at the end of the day. I don't know. We, we backed it up from yesterday, which is a pleasure as well. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to hopefully maybe break the record, get the most points. I believe it was 68 or something. 65 at the moment. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And uh, they love you here as well. But you're like a cat that's got the cream, haven't you? You love the sevens. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's good fun. You can do a bit of showboating. Um, yeah, it's, I love it. And you know, it's it's also nice to have a good crowd every weekend and good support. But yeah, I'm just. This is fantastic. I'm really loving it at the moment. Yeah. So look at the table and Melrose are way ahead on 48 points, but just nine points separate the next six clubs. And with cash prizes up for grabs, there's plenty of interest left in the series. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.